The first example we're going to talk about is incomplete dominance. In situations where there is incomplete dominance, it's pretty logical, and it's what you'd expect. A heterozygote shows a unique phenotype. And what that means, visualize this for a second. If, for example, we were going to look at uh, flower color and we had a red flower that was coded for by this <coughs> big R dominant allele and we had a white flower that was coded for by little recessive alleles in this particular gene, the uh, heterozygote would, we, 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 this makes sense, would show a pink flower. Now, the key is that this really is its own phenotypic class. It really is that there is a, a, a new phenotype being expressed. And it's important to recognize that because incomplete dominance shows something totally different and independent than my next situation, which is codominance, where two things are kind of equally dominant. So it might be a little bit tricky to um, get it through your brain, the difference between these two. But my flower example, we have a true breeding white flower with a true breeding red flower, and the result is all these heterozygous pink flowers. Let's look at codominance and see if we can um, distinguish between these two. 